Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Along with password protecting an entire document, you can also protect a document from being edited. You can even choose sections in a protected document and let them be edited by selected users. This lets you create read-only sections in a document and allow editing changes to other parts of the document. Word lets you make editing the unrestricted parts of a protected document available to anyone or to only specific users you select. To protect a document and mark the parts of the document that are editable, open the document to protect and click the Review tab within the ribbon. Next, click the Restrict Editing button that appears within the Protect button group to open the Restrict Editing task pane. To limit the types of formatting styles that can be used, check the Limit Formatting to a Selection of Styles checkbox in the Formatting Restrictions section. Then click the Adjacent Settings hyperlink to open the Formatting Restrictions dialog box. Check the Limit Formatting to a Selection of Styles checkbox, and then uncheck the styles you do not want used in the Check Styles Are Currently Allowed list. In the Formatting section below the list, check or uncheck the checkboxes to enable or disable the listed functions. When you're finished, click the OK button to save your formatting restrictions. To protect your document from editing, check the Allow Only This Type of Editing in the Document checkbox in the Editing Restrictions section. In the drop-down box, choose the No Changes Read Only option. Then select the section or sections in your document to leave open for editing. To select multiple areas in your document, select the first section and then press and hold the control key on your keyboard while making your remaining selections. To leave the selected parts of your document open for anyone to edit, check the Everyone checkbox in the Exceptions Optional section. To leave the document sections open for a specific user or group of people, click the More Users link to open the Add Users dialog box. Enter the user names into the supplied text box, separating each name with a semicolon. Then click OK to add the selected users to the exception list. A new Individuals box will appear in the list showing the users you selected. You can check the check boxes next to their names to add them to the exception list. It is important to note, if you decide to choose the user authentication method to protect the document instead of a password, you must use the user's email addresses. After you've selected the sections to keep unlocked and assigned the users who have access to those sections, you need to start the document protection. In the Start Enforcement section within the task pane, click the Yes Start Enforcing Protection button. You will see a dialog box appear that lets you decide how to protect your document. You can choose the Password option and enter the same password into the two supplied text fields. If you choose the User Authentication option, the users you choose can remove document protection after being authenticated. You will also need Information Rights Management or IRM set up to use the User Authentication method. For whichever option you choose, click the OK button when you are finished to enable document protection. Then click the Save button that appears in the Quick Access Toolbar to save the changes you have made to your document. After document protection has been enabled, the Restrict Editing pane will display the Your Permissions section. This is also what will appear for the users to whom you have granted editing access. They can use the Find Next Region I Can Edit and Show All Regions I Can Edit buttons to see the areas of the document they can edit. They can check or uncheck the Highlight the Regions I Can Edit checkbox to toggle that option on or off too. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.